and convicted of the death of Nassau County police officer and a bystander. CBS 2's Weijia Jang joins us live from Mineola with more this morning. Weijia. Well, Chris, when the convicted killer uh, learned that he was found guilty in July, family members said it brought them some closure, hopefully even more so today, which marks the final chapter in their fight for justice. Convicted killer Daryl Fuller will learn his fate today, nearly two years after gunning down a Nassau County police officer and another man. In October 2012, Officer Artie Lopez witnessed a hit and run on the Queens Nassau border, giving chase. The prosecutor told the jury Lopez had only drawn a taser gun, but Fuller, an ex convict on parole, had a fully loaded handgun. At the beginning of this year, I said, New Year's, my New Year's resolution was to put a killer behind bars, and man, we did. Fuller then continued along the Cross Island Parkway, dragging innocent motorist Raymond Facey out of his car and killing him. Facey's daughter spoke after Fuller was convicted. We can't bring back our father, but we're thankful for the case that was put together. Part of the extensive evidence against Fuller safe distance at approximately 55 miles an hour. Uh, he's on all flats right now. Lopez's last words on police radio transmissions reporting a suspect on the run and six direct witnesses, including an off-duty police officer who videotaped part of the pursuit with Officer Lopez's truck in sight. Hearing the details during the trial was excruciating for two families and Lopez's police family, all expected to pack into court for Fuller's sentencing. And Fuller faces a maximum sentence, a possibility of life in prison without the chance of parole. Live in Mineola this morning, Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News.